Hey everyone, it's Natalie from Browsing Bookshelves, back to do another in my mailbox video posting for you. So I got a ton of books over the past two weeks, tons of amazing books, but I'm only going to share about half of them with you today, um, and I'm hoping next week I can do a part two so you can see the rest of them. So let's start with um, Hatchet Canada. I got tons of amazing books from them this week. The first one um, was actually the Gilly Salt Sisters, which I reviewed last week and it's on my blog so check it out because it was a fabulous book and I absolutely loved it. The next one they sent me was um, The Lifeboat by Charlotte Rogan. This one's about um, a young woman who's just been married and she's on her honeymoon sorry, when her boat sinks in the Atlantic Ocean. So she's stuck on a lifeboat that's overcrowded and in order for the people in the lifeboat to survive, some of them have to die. I love historical novels, so definitely looking forward to reading this one. And while the synopsis on the back doesn't outright say it, I'm assuming the boat that sinks is a Titanic. Uh, really looking forward to see if it is, because that'd be pretty cool. This one comes out um, in April. So definitely look for this one in April when it comes out. I'm hoping to start reading this one next, so my review will be up soon. Also from Hashit, I got So Far Away by Meg Mitchell Moore. This one's about a 13-year-old girl who discovers a diary in her attic that was written by an Irish uh, immigrant in the 1920s who's a servant. And she's intrigued by the diary, so she does some research into uh, the person who wrote it. Once again, I love novels with a bit of history in it, so definitely looking forward to this one. It comes out May 29th. Then there is The Iron Worm Affair by Lilith St. Crow. <laughs> this one is a steampunk novel, and I love steampunk, so I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'm just going to read you one of the quotes from the back because I think it kind of sums up what the book is about. It says, uh, Lilith St. Crow's foray into steampunk plunges the reader into a Victorian England rife with magic and menace, where clockwork horses pace the cobble streets, dragons rule the ironworks, and it will take a sorceress's discipline and a logician's powers of deduction to unravel a bloody conspiracy. So basically, it's a steampunk version of Sherlock Holmes, I guess, with a bit of sorcery mixed in, which sounds amazing. This one comes out August 7th, so I'm really excited to start reading this one. Then from, um, I think this is Hatchet, the UK division, I got The Waiting Room by H.G. Cobb. Uh, this is a horror novel, and I've been reading a lot of horror lately, so really excited to read this one too. Um, it's about a uh, the ghost of a soldier who's haunting uh, a house and this TV ghost hunter comes to investigate it and it sounds kind of spooky so I'm definitely going to read this one when I'm feeling like being scared. <laughs> and this one actually has already been published so Look for it at your local bookstore. The next book I got, I actually won off of a contest that Penguin Canada was having on their Twitter account. So they sent me The Singles by Meredith Goldstein. This one is about five people who are attending one of their friend's weddings. And even though the bride insists that they bring a guest, they all show up as singles. So it's hopefully going to be a funny read. I usually enjoy stories about weddings, so this one looks pretty good. It comes out in May, so check it out. Then from Razor Bill, which is actually the teen division of Penguin Publishing, I received Secrets of the Henna Girl. This one deals with the issue of forced marriage in Pakistan, so definitely an interesting topic. Um, it came out March 1st, so if it sounds like something that might interest you, then head down to your local bookstore and check it out. And finally, the last book I got was 
uh, Immortal City by Scott Spear. And this one uh, talks about a world where angels are actually like celebrities <laughs> and they train to be guardians. So it's definitely a unique topic. I haven't actually read any angel fiction yet, even though it's been super popular, um, at least from what I've seen on other people's blogs. So I'm really curious uh, to see how good this book is because it sounds really interesting. And I love the cover, it's super shiny. Kind of blinding actually. And this one comes out in April. So yeah, those are the books I got um, over the past two weeks. Like I said, I'm hoping to do a part two next week so you can see uh, the rest of them because this is only about half of the books I got. I have to do a lot of reading. <laughs> So what did you guys get in your mailbox this week? Share a link a, or a comment below and I'll try to check out your postings as well. Have a good week guys.